Hey, how's it going, everybody? Good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome back to the tenants, where today things are going pretty well. We're currently sitting on seventy thousand dollars. We are currently babysitting this place, which is always an interesting one, given what this place is being a sort of casino and illegal brewing operation and firing range, etc., etc. Very interesting place to be babysitting. Not really somewhere that you would think would be a rental, but apparently that's what it is. It never hit me before that this was a rental, but it is absolutely a rental. Uh, now, between episodes, I've done a few jobs, as you might be able to imagine. We're up to level 20, almost level 21, which we should get after this babysitting. We've also gone down in terms of monthly cash flow because I went ahead and renegotiated on my contracts kind of badly. But the silver lining to all of that is that, never mind, this was available. This was available. This place right here was, oh, it was available. Literally, <laughs> I hit record and it stopped being available. It's $69,000. This one's about $50,000. Ah, uh, you've got to be kidding me. My whole, my whole point, the whole reason that I hit the record button was because that was available. And I, th I thought to myself, oh, this will be a really good time to make some progress. But you know what it isn't? It isn't. A <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, okay. <laughs> this ever so slightly throws a bit of a, a spanner in the works. I'm not really sure what to do right now. Uh, I guess we wait is what we do. We'll wait for something else. We had some overdue money come in. That's great. That's fantastic. Doesn't really solve my problem. Uh, so let's go do a job and see what becomes available shortly. We'll do another, let's see, what's actually gonna pay me the most right now? 2550285043 for a total makeover of a small restaurant. Let's do it. Let's go do a total makeover of a small restaurant. Not like we haven't done these before, but we'll go ahead and just scrap everything. And we can hopefully rent somewhere else or buy somewhere else today and then rent it out. That would be the goal. I'm I'm more than a little bit annoyed that that didn't happen. I I feel slightly annoyed and s yeah, I'm just slightly annoyed, okay? That's all I am. Uh, now, what I will say is that the good news is that I'm actually getting quite quick at doing a lot of this stuff because you can just click on all of these I mean, we discovered this before, but I can uh, I can click on all of these and essentially go ahead and uh, very, very quickly go through and finish things like uh, like bathrooms. It's actually kind of nice being able to do this. Uh, we'll give them a nice expensive toilet because, you know, good expensive toilets never uh, never necessarily a bad thing. We'll go ahead and put the heating there. And then in terms of a bathroom sink, we're going to go for the corner one because I do happen to uh, to like it as well. So it can live there. We're going to need a toilet brush. They can have the, uh, the expensive one of that as well. And in terms of toilet paper, I mean, can I get the toilet paper holder in there? I can and I will. And that will do nicely for both of the bathrooms. It is It is becoming a really quick process doing this whole thing. And I actually like that it's sort of becoming a quick process. It's 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 kind of nice in its own way that I'm I'm sort of getting uh, getting pretty quick at this whole thing. It's just uh, it's it's still chill. That's that's the one thing with this game that I will say is it does. I do get those tastemaker vibes. I mentioned right at the start of this series that it remind not, it doesn't remind me of tastemaker, but I I just happened upon it in the way that I sort of happened upon tastemaker. And I'm liking it. I really am. I think it's it's pretty chill, like I said, in that kind of tastemaker chill kind of way. So we'll go ahead and put all those chairs in there. In terms of wall decor, I mean, this is just odds and ends. I think this is a new thing that I recently unlocked, so we'll throw that up there. Uh, in terms of paintings, I mean, we have a decent bit of cash still sitting around, so let's go ahead and put up something kind of expensive right about there. In terms of a vase... Uh, we'll put that little one in the middle. And then they want linoleum floors. 
and brown or red walls. So let's do blue, blue and uh, wow. Wow, that um, ever so slightly threw me off. I want to do some brick around there because I think that'll look pretty cool. I could do wood paneling too. I could do, I could, I could do wood paneling. I think, I don't know, is it, would it be better than... Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna we're potentially wasting some money here, but I'm doing wood paneling because I think it might it actually it looks so much worse. Oh no. Uh we'll do this around here. Good lord, what have I done? It I mean it doesn't really matter. You know, it's it's not a huge deal. I'm I'm going over again with the brick. The brick will look so much better. Yeah, that's that's much the floor is awful, but that's better than uh than the wood paneling. Uh these guys want grey for the walls in here so let's go for that as the back and then let's just go for this around the uh the entire room there so that'll kind of work out we're gonna move the fuse box over by the door and then we need just everything else now this is where i'm gonna want to be relatively cheap because we we've spent well we've actually only spent just under just over half the budget so we kind of can be a little a little expensive on all of this um let's let's give it a shot and see what we can do so we're gonna want some sinks so one two and three we're gonna want some kitchen cabinets uh do these guys that's a i don't have a matching cabinet for those sinks never mind let's get rid of those again and go back to kitchen sinks and go for these guys because i do have matching cabinets for these uh so one two and three we want some cabinets so we want to go uh one two and i want to do three here so that's the three cabinets we're gonna need some cookers let's be reasonable in what i'm doing here so a couple of cookers there we're gonna need three fridges as well that's gonna be a bit of a problem oh boy um i might have overdone it there is a definite possibility I've overdone and uh, overestimated just how much money I have left because I only have $2,262 and I have to buy three fridges and a microwave. So, hmm. Let's, 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 let's skimp on the fridges a little bit, all right? That seems like a bit of an idea. We'll go for some small fridges. I don't have a lot of money left at all. Oh boy. Uh, cheap microwave. Kitchen scales can go there. And a nice lamp can go there. Are we done? No, we're not. I didn't laminate the floors. Do I don't have enough money to laminate the floors. <laughs> oh, no. Um, right. Uh, hmm. I have an idea. Put that there. Uh, sell you. Move you to there. And let's laminate the floors. Hey, we're done. Okay. Is it good? The kitchen is good. The dining room's terrible. That's fine. We'll go ahead and deliver that. We'll not worry about it. We also have you complaining about... Oh, that's not my money I'm spending to do that. So that's fine. Absolutely sending in a pro for that one. And uh, how long have I got to... So this is actually going to be the last task for the babysitting here. We've got a pro going in to deal with the flooding in the bathroom. Uh, we've got Caitlin Jarvis sending me overdue money. Wait, hold on a minute. I have a favor to ask. I'm a bit short of cash this month. Can I pay you half the usual rent this week? I don't like doing this because these are mafia people, right? My two problems with this is number one, they're in the mafia. And number two, I really want to tell them no, go get a loan, but they're in the mafia. It seems like it'd be a bad idea. I like that fireplace. That's really nice little file box we got a lot of nice stuff that's a really nice furnace too um yeah just chill and pay me everything next week we'll not worry too much about it i'm not happy that we're getting less money but we're getting less money and we have to deal ha ha behold mine yes yes we have purchased a thing i'm not i'm not just immediately mine um i do want to make that look nice though so let's begin by cleaning Right, so we'll just go ahead and uh, we're going to scrap everything in here. We'll go ahead and remove that mold. We'll go ahead and plaster that. And essentially what we're going to do is 
somehow make this nice. I think room dividers might be needed. I think more money might be needed. But we're going to try and make this kind of nice. Is what we're going to do. And I think I can do that. I think I'm getting pretty good at playing with the, 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 the objects in this game and kind of making things look okay. You know, I, I think I'm, you know, I'm gradually learning and that's exciting to me, to be totally honest. Now, we are renegotiating with probably both of them. Now, they like me. So let's see what we can do. I want to say 60 days and I want to go, I want to hardball straight in 2850. He's offering 744. So if I then drop down to 2-2... Two, two, What's he going to come up to? 133, 1303, not bad. If I drop down to 19, come up, come up about 300 more. Go on. 1489, you know what? Uh, let me go down to 17. Go a little higher. Go on. He accepts it. Done. I don't know if that was. Am I making. I don't know if I'm making more or less. I'm not going to lie. Uh, so you're at work right now. Okay. I feel like I'm making less. Admittedly, he's only paying me half this week. 1559 per month. That doesn't seem like a lot. You've sent me all overdue money. Okay, so we're up to 3496 right now. What are you? So are you... Hold on a minute. Let me have a little look here. Tenants overview... Okay. So you're due to we're due to review you in seven days. Uh we're managing you automatically, that's fine. You are a little overdue on those. So you're 1904 right now. And you're 1700. Okay. So I need to get 1904 minimum from uh, Caitlin Jarvis is what I need. We need to get 1904 minimum here. And I think the review comes in. I think we look at reviewing within seven days. I don't know, maybe five days, whatever it is. I do think we need to try and get, uh, it needs to be one nine minimum, 1,900 minimum for, uh, for Caitlin's rent. So let's give it a shot and see what we can do here. So negotiate. You're relatively happy. Uh, one nine minimum. I want to increase that by, f let's say, 600 and make an offer. Let's see what happens. So you're willing to go. Ooh. I will accept that. I will absolutely accept that. Yeah, no, that is that is fine by me. That is totally fine by me. Okay, let's go ahead and take another job. Uh, I want this one, just a nice easy thing. And I'm gonna take that babysitting one as well because that seems like a pretty solid one. We'll go ahead and just clear out all of these as well. And I can actually go into settings in the phone and say, I don't want, let's see here. Um, I don't want notified about rent payments. I don't. I don't think I need to know about that. Uh, so let's see here. That's just babysitting. That's fine. This is an open house. What are we looking for? No mobster. And it has to be someone at 33 to 58. You are an alcoholic construction worker. You're 19 years old. You can leave. You are an alcoholic janitor. You're 21 years old. You can leave. Maybe 33 to 58. Uh, you are 50. You are an athletic nursing aide. Okay. Okay. And you are a mobster, you can leave. Uh, there's a problem with your electricity. I'll send my uncle over because we can get that done nice and quickly. Go repair that, would you? Like this place. I was saying earlier about how I'm getting better at designing things. I think this looks great. Although they, one of them redid their floor to a less high, like a, a lower quality one, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. Uh, you, athletic cook, but you're too young. 50 unsatisfying i don't like that you don't like it that's not good i kind of need you to like it you're 24 you're too young get out just just scram 
<sighs> do we want to do we want to maybe just try negotiating with you what about you you're 47 you're an athletic child care worker so you're in the the right age bracket here you think the place is fine you think the place is fine so this guy is actually in line to start really liking it you're 50 so you might really like it as well you got some rats over there are you one of my tenants no so i'm just gonna send in a pro because i don't need to deal with that and then we'll go back over here and look at the open house so you think it's fine you think it's fine are you the right age you're 50 yep we already looked at you didn't we you think it's fine as well if i can get someone that thinks it's more than fine that'd be nice so this guy thinks it's good and he's 47 so let's go ahead and negotiate let's just immediately go in for that offer let's maybe go down a little bit and that's fine we'll accept that offer and i i think we're good on that so hopefully that works out we'll wait for the client's review the client loves it that's good and i think that'll just give me a little bit of extra cash absolutely perfect okay and then this place is just babysitting so we'll not worry too much about it uh what i would like to do though is head over here and i want to start renovating i want to start i want to make this place good so let's move these guys actually i i wonder if i can get we do need a bathroom on this i think we're only going to be able to get a bathroom well actually no uh we're gonna need a i'm i'm gonna try this this might work out this might not so that can live there and let's just go a little bit nuts with this so tiles are gonna be those um hmm walls are gonna be let's do blue and then for the main space i kind of want to go with this and i kind of want to go with this i'm going to keep the main space very very gray and can I put a nice fancy... No, not really. I can put a nice door on there. What is this? Dark alder door. Let's go with this one. Nice fancy door for the bathroom. Okay. So we need a seat and a fridge. That's that's some requirements in sort of a common area. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. I do think it's important to have a nice bathroom. I do I do think that's a requirement I think that's way too big uh we can probably afford this right so put that there and then I want to grab a nice toilet and I'm gonna try and put the toilet right there because that does make it accessible uh this I wonder can I slide it down there absolutely okay that's fine uh I want a nice sink i don't have the corner one annoyingly but i do have this one which is good and accessible so that's fine let's put up some towels above the sink or rather let's put some towels uh beside the sink and i don't think i'm gonna be able to get one of these guys in here oh maybe hold on so that's not accessible but that's okay i think i can move that over here and it's now accessible so that's fine the bathroom is completely accessible right now we'll put a toilet brush can i get it in that little corner oh i can look at that perfect and we'll do some toilet roll just there so yeah that room is now completely accessible and is a fully functional bathroom so that's that's fine the bathroom's not really what i'm interested in making nice it would be nice if it were nice but it's not and it's not gonna be although i would kind of like to put some tulips in there and i would also kind of like a mirror so what is this a square mirror can go right there so that's fine that's gonna be our bathroom it's it's nice enough the living space is gonna be slightly trickier but here's what i'm thinking 
We put a bed there. And we grab a room divider. And we put a room divider right, say, there. And all we really need is a seat and a fridge. But what I'd like to do is try and get a full, not a full kitchen. But let's see. I want to do this. I want to put this in the corner. I want, I'm going to try the expensive stove. And I'm going to grab a little fridge. I'm, I'm, I'm pausing because I'm. I, I, I'm pausing talking, I mean, because I'm just trying to make sure this works. So fridge, stove, and sink, right? So that's now a full kitchen. I would like this guy because I do want to cap it off. And then we just need a seat. All right. So all we need is to go here. Grab a nice armchair. And just sort of slap it in the corner there. And technically, that's now a fully functional house. It's not going to be worth much. But technically, that is fully functional. So that's kind of cool. Also, I noticed we have garden tools and workshop tools. That's kind of tempting. Believe it or not, you got a bunch of roaches. Okay, let's go deal with that. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try killing a few of these. Wasn't this? This is one of those places I was going to rent at one point. Not rent. Uh, buy. Well, not buy, but I was I was considering it if I could. Did I design this place? No, I didn't design this place. I'd remember those uh, those worktops if I did. Okay, so that's been dealt with. I do have stuff in my own uh, my own stash as well. I need to remember that. But let's see here. So what can I do for this place? Uh, what have I got in my stash? I have an easel. I stole that. Bar acquired that. Um, can I put it there? I can and it is accessible. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. I don't mind that. Um, in terms of other decorations, I mean, I can't really afford much. But I think a nice plant there is kind of cool. I'd like to somehow get a TV in here. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I would necessarily get a TV in here, but I would like one. Get a nice doormat there. Uh, what else can we do? We can do some candles. Let's try and make the place look a little bit nicer is essentially all I'm going for here. Uh, we have some whiskey, which I can put down beside the bed, which seems like a fantastic idea living here. And I kind of want to grab some roses and just put those in the corner there. This isn't, this isn't so bad, right? I can also put up like a, a poster of a movie or house flipper. Oh my God. What else have we got? Okay. What is this one? Zombie muffins. Life in a boat. Okay. Interesting. Um... Let's put up a motivational poster. And we'll just kind of put it back here. So yeah, you are breathtaking. There we go. And can I get like a nice painting or picture or some books or something? Uh, let's see. Can I squeeze some books down here? I absolutely can. Okay. I think that's about as good as this is going to get. So let's leave and let's start an open house. We can afford to advertise in a newspaper. Just, we have $9 left. You're an athletic childcare worker. You're 51 years old. Your name is Aiden Salazar. That's a good name. Aiden Salazar. And he thinks it's fine, which is great. And Lucas Valencia thinks it's fine. Aiden thinks it's good. Caitlin Webster thinks it's fine. All right, Salazar, what can we? What else can we get you to think? Do you like the doormat? That's the question. You do. Okay. Let's negotiate here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna immediately go in, and I'm gonna say he does like it. I'm gonna say two thousand two hundred right off the bat. He's gonna say one thousand one hundred and seventy. 
I'm going to say one, one eight. All right. He's going to come up to one three. I'm going to say one six. And he's going to go one three. Can I get you to go one four? Come on. One three seven zero. That will do. That's fine. Uh, you want your internet upgraded? Sure, we can do that. Okay. So now let's have a look here. We have Aiden Salazar. Do I have to pay that? I guess I do. Uh, we'll pay that all automatically so we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. And we can go ahead and just kind of minimize all of these. So my income now is nearly 5,000. We're still pretty far away from being able to do this, this 12,000 thing, but uh, whatever. Oh, he's, that's the person we were looking after. Oh dear. Is the client happy? The guy's just passed out. He's having a great time. New items unlocked. Okay, we just got the plasma TV, fireplace tool stands, neon strips. Not bad, level 22. Okay, so we now have three properties. We have four tenants. That, that, that's good, right? That's pretty good. We've also got these guys all telling me about the money they sent me. Can I add, what, I don't, received agent monthly reports, the farewell debt payments, loan installment payments. I don't, I, do I need, I don't need farewell messages. I don't need greeting messages. Debt payments? I don't, do I, I don't think I need that. I, 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 I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. The point is, I've managed to get myself a third property, and I'm kind of pleased about that. Like, this place is a bit of a dump, but I think I've made pretty good use of the space, you know? Bit of a room divider, so it's, you know, it feels a little, be a little more cramped, but just a little bit of privacy. I like that. We got a full bathroom in there. Shower, crapper. It's everything you need, right? It's it's everything you need. It doesn't really compare to some of the other places that I'm renting out, but I couldn't afford anywhere else. So, oh, not an earthquake. Uh, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Who needs help? You do. Uh, I'm just going to send in a pro to deal with that. And we also have negotiations here as well, so I'm, I'm sure he's thrilled about it. Uh, wait, you've got problems as well? We'll send a pro in there as well. Uh, let me see. So negotiations, you are... Okay. Before we negotiate, though, let me pause and see. So who is this? This is... Not Aiden Salazar. Who am I dealing with here? This is Andre Briggs. So Andre is doing what exactly? This is boring lane, I think. Yeah, so you're doing 2-3. 2,300 is what we need from you minimum. I'm going to hardball. I'm going to go straight to 3890. We're going to make that offer and see what he says. He's going to say 1875. Oh my God. Okay, he's gone completely the wrong way here. Let's make an offer there. 2211. Is that higher than he's doing right now? No. It needs to be higher. Let's go down to 3,000, see what he's going to offer. 2, 3. Okay, so that is higher. I'd like it to be a bit higher, though. Can I get him to come up to 2, 4? That would be ideal. 2, 3, 7. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have offered for that as well. I don't know. I don't know. It's only seven hundred. It's only seventy nine dollars more. I guess we could upgrade the place. I'll accept it though. We'll accept it for now. It's seventy nine dollars more than it was, which is whatever. That's fair enough, right? It, it could be better, but it'll it'll get us by for now. I I would be curious though to let's see. So you're gonna be paying me shortly. If I look at you guys, they're all not really due for a while. So we're kind of gonna be chilling for a little bit. 
Uh, now, the, the thing as well is if we're only making 4,763, 4, I mean, I, I could go to the bank and I could take a $100,000 loan, but that's still 6,110 per month. You know, that's still a lot of money. So I don't think we're going to be taking that loan just yet, but at least we've made some progress. I will also say it seems like every apartment I click on is considerably more expensive than it was when I first looked at them. I could swear some of the early apartments were like 100 and 113. This one's 402. Is that because I'm leveling up? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like this place is has bare minimum furnishing. It's I guess it's got it's near some things. I don't know. I I don't know. This place is available 271 215. Let's see jobs. I feel like the elite contracts aren't really worth it either. For like 4500's good money, but I don't know. I'm wondering if I'm missing something. You know? Maybe making these places just a little bit nicer would be an idea, but I guess we'll figure that out. It's I'm not in any rush. I'm I'm still having fun. I'm not I'm not complaining. All right. I'm just I'm I'm thinking out loud because honestly, this would be a very different video and uh, arguably more boring, arguably better. It depends on your perspective. If I was not thinking out loud, that's kind of my entire job. Anyway, let's figure out what to do next. Also, that's a giant burger. I'm kind of hungry now. <laughs>